Well, you guys asked for it, so I went shopping. Hey, beautifuls! Welcome back to my channel, where we are doing a Timu haul today. This is going to be part two of our Timu purse haul. Now, previously, I did do a video where I showed you guys a bunch of different handbags, purses, and backpacks from Timu, and we did a full review. We had some great ones, and we had some not-so-great ones. If you guys didn't catch that video, I'm going to be posting a link right up up here for you that way you can go check it out but today we are going to be doing part two I have with me a ton of different handbags purses and backpacks once again we're gonna be going through doing a full review on all of these products today and checking them out now if you're interested in purchasing any of the bags that I'm about to share with you guys I will be posting links down below along with the prices for each bag as well so there will be a link for each item you'll see the price tag on there. And if you guys download the Timu app and you search my coupon code in the search bar, you will actually get a $100 coupon bundle and you can apply all of those different coupons towards the items that I'm about to share with you guys. Now Timu does offer free shipping on all of their products and they also have a free 90 day return window. So if you do happen to order in one of these bags and then you just decide it's not for you, you can return it using their free return policy. <laughs> first bag we're going to look into is going to be this gorgeous red bag. Now I have to tell you guys the color on this is exquisite. I love it for a change, something different, and I feel like it stands out. This color of red says, look at me, I'm gorgeous, I need to be noticed. I kind of like this bag. I do have a few things that I don't love. One of them being the handles. I mean, can we talk about the handles here for just a second? Like what is going on? I'm not really sure if these handles are ever going to go back to the way that they were supposed to. I don't know if this happened in shipping or what, but they will not go straight for me. And that is the most frustrating part because when you look at this bag, you notice it. I mean, immediately it's there. So if you hide it, you don't notice it as much. But I tell you what, you set this bag down, you go anywhere and set it down. Not only will they look at the bag for its color, but they're also gonna be looking at these wonky handles. Overall, I think the bag has really great potential. However, I do think even the sides here are a little bit different. If you notice looking at the distance from here to here, it seems a bit off. Now again, I don't know if this is because it was squished in shipping. It definitely had some weight applied to it. You can kind of see the dents here. It will come out of it, I think, with time. But at the moment, it's just so hard to love this bag when I just keep looking at the handles and the different shape. This actually opens up for a little pocket in the front. On the bottom, you do have a decent bottom. It's not completely reinforced, but you do have metal feet that it can stand up on. Additionally, you will have a zippered compartment here on the back, which is fully functioning. I do like the zipper because it's nice and smooth. You've got lots of room here. Inside of the bag, there is tons of space. So you actually have two compartments here. You do have two cell phone pockets, a zipper in the middle, and also a zipper on the back. Additionally, this will come with the matching shoulder strap. And then it also has a little wallet that goes along with it. Now, I think this wallet is super cute. It's very chic with that gold bar. It is fairly thin, so you're not gonna be able to store a lot in here. It's supposed to be a wallet, but honestly, it's just one large pocket. You could put something behind here if you wanted to. I felt like this is, it's an interesting size because it's too large for a coin purse. And I think it's too large for like business cards, but I don't know if you would only put cash in here, but there's no card sleeves. So it is an interesting wallet, but I do think it's nice that it comes with it. So this first bag is a maybe for me. I think it definitely has potential. I love the storage. I think it's super cute the way it looks. I just need to somehow get these handles to go in the right way. And I'm hoping if I can get them over time to stay in one position, I could correct this. But outside of that, I think it is a really cute bag. 
Truthfully, I only bought this bag for the cherries on here. I loved the design on this one. This bag is not only stylish, but it is made really well. So I am in love with this one. This was one of the rare finds that I found that I think is a huge score. So for starters, you have this adorable cherry print here on the front. It also has this gorgeous clasp that looks like a flower and you do have to twist to open it up. Additionally, it does come with the cherry keychain as well. This keychain can be removed. When it shipped to me, it was actually inside of the bag. So if you didn't want to have this on here, you wouldn't have to, but I honestly think it adds a lot to it. I think the gold chain is perfect. I love the look of the little cherries down there. So I do think in this case, it is necessary to have the keychain. Now, as far as the bag design goes, it does stop right here at the back and then you have this solid panel. Both sides are also going to be that solid cream color. Additionally, the handle itself is a soft handle because it is braided with the fabric. However, if you notice, it's also braided with a piece of wire metal and it's making it stronger. So this is very sturdy. It is a soft handle, but also firm at the same at times. So it's a harder material, but I do feel like this is comfortable to use. I carried it around for a while. I even slipped it through my arm here to carry it and I felt like it was fine. It was not cutting into my arm or anything like that. Inside of the bag, you can open this up and you'll notice that it does open all the way here. This is very flexible, which I do like. It's not stiff or rigid. Inside of the bag, it will be all black lining with one large pocket here. This lining is not not a cheap paper. It's actually very smooth. So it feels like a faux leather almost, but I mean, it is a very soft material. I do feel like there's enough room in here that you could put in like your wallet, your phone, your chapstick, all the essentials, and it's still going to look so cute. And everyone's going to ask you, where did you get your cute cherry bag? A thousand percent yes, I recommend. Now, I had no intention of buying any dupe products, you guys, but truthfully, I didn't realize this was a dupe until I got it in. Online, I was like, I like the purple, I like the flowers, I like the shape of the bag. And then getting it in person, I realized this little triangle, I definitely think is trying to be a dupe product. So this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I love the purple and white combination here. You've got this beautiful print of the flowers. It's also a very soft feeling bag as well. They do have a little tag here that goes with it as like a keychain, but there's nothing on this. So truthfully, I feel like it's kind of distracting. I feel like it looks better off so you can see that gorgeous print. The handles themselves are made really well. I felt like they're nice and sturdy. I like that they adjust all the way as well. This is a softer piping material in here, so it is comfortable to hold on to. The print does carry on to the back as well, and this is reinforced, so it's very sturdy. Zippers on these are just okay. They do work, but I feel like there's a bit of friction with them, so they're not the smoothest zippers that I've had. Inside, you're going to notice it's one large compartment. You do have the matching shoulder strap once again, and then you will have a zippered area in the back here with two cell phone pockets up front. So this one I do recommend if you love the print and you're into a mid-size bag, I do think this is an affordable one to try out. However, the zippers are the only drawback that they do have a little bit of friction when opening them. And for all of my backpack lovers, this bag I did pick up off of Timu and it is so comfortable, you guys. So first off, I love this distressed leather look. It is not real leather, but I do love the print. I love the color on here as well. So we've got a lot of storage, a lot of compartments in here. So for starters, we have a gold zipper up here at the top. There is room to place several items in this pocket. Then down below, we have almost like a satchel style. These do not do anything. They're strictly there for looks. These are actually magnetic and then in here you're gonna have a very large compartment where this whole pocket is available for storage. On the side you are going to have a pocket here for like a water bottle. Same thing on the other side. For the back here we do have a handle and a secret zipper to compartment. These are great if you want to store like your wallet or anything personal. Hide it, keep it close to your back. The handles themselves, I like the fact that they incorporated the design on the handle. Sometimes I've noticed with some of the Timu bags, they will go with a very simple strap that almost doesn't go with the bag. 
This one I felt like was great because it is a part of it. So it looks intentional. Now these handles are going to be a very slick, almost like seatbelt style. Like you know how your seatbelts are very thick and a little slippery? That's how these feel when you're grabbing onto them. But I didn't have any issues with them falling off of my arm at all. It honestly was very comfortable to wear. I did feel like lots of storage already on the outside, but then you get to the main compartment and in here it is one big open area. So you have all of this space inside of your backpack. It's all lined. You additionally will have one large pocket up here at the front as well. And then, like I said, you've got all this space. So there's quite a bit of room in here. All of the zippers are very functional, so I love that. So this bag, I definitely recommend. I don't know who I think I am ordering this size of a bag. I mean, seriously, what was I thinking? There is no way I can fit all of my essentials inside of this little bag. Now, I will say online when I ordered it, they labeled it as small. I personally would label this as mini because this is the smallest bag I have ever seen. So it's an adorable print and I gotta tell you the color is what drew me towards it. It is so cute with the actual print, but it is so not reasonable for me. I mean, I don't even think my phone would fit in this because my phone is so big. So I love it. I'm actually a little annoyed that it's not larger because I do think it's super cute. But this is my next bag. So this adorable bag has got two buckles on the front here. They are just for looks. They're not actually functional or do anything. They're just cute. This will be the side here and the print will continue all the way on the back. And then it has this adorable link handle. Now, a couple things with this handle though that I'm not totally in love with. One, it is a very thin plastic material. So if you look here on all of these links, all of these can be separated. They're such a fine plastic that I worry they're gonna snap or break very easily. Additionally, the actual hooks that are on here are not the best either. So this is where I worry that this could easily be ripped apart. I honestly think if I pulled right now, I could break the handle with it. So it's not the best materials there, but I think the bag has much better quality put into it. So I like that it's got a little bit of space underneath here as well. It'll stand up and look adorable wherever you put it. It has two snaps on the front and then inside one large compartment. But again, I don't even think my phone will fit in here. I mean, it is so small. I feel like we would be going back to an iPhone 4S, that small of a phone back in the day, that would have fit in here. But nowadays, all of the larger phones, this is so much larger. I just, I don't know. I feel like this one could be cute for somebody, but it'd probably have to be a little girl or something. Oh, and don't let me forget, we got a shoulder strap, but I, I don't understand what this shoulder strap is supposed to do. So this was included and it's literally a piece of string. So not really sure what you're supposed to do with this. I don't know if their thought was to tie a knot on here, but again, the handles on this bag are just not the best quality. Oh, she is giving drama. This is our next black bag here. And if you guys remember the last video I did, I tried to go for a black tufted bag. I think they're so cute. I love the pillow look. I think I found one that I really approve of. So this black bag will have a squishy marshmallow texture. Each of these are like little pillows that you can sit and squish the whole time. It has a black chain for the handle. You can keep it looped up double like this or you can actually pull it through and make it longer as one handle. So you do have some flexibility there. I love with this chain that it is smooth. So when I had this on my shoulder, it's not pulling my hair, it's not tugging anything, and it is soft to grip onto. Also, I feel like this is super chic. Having it on, it looked really classy. I think it's a nice dressy vibe for this bag. Now the bag itself will have the same tufted design all the way around it and on top of the bag as well. This one does not have any feet on it. However, I think it's meant to be more of a shoulder bag that you would carry the whole time anyways. But visually, I definitely approve of this one. Now the clasp is also super cute. You actually have to turn this on the front here and then it will open up the clasp. Then down below, you're gonna have two compartments plus a zippered area in there. So I do feel like 
surprisingly, there's more storage in here than what I thought was going to be available. I honestly thought this was going to be all one compartment. So getting that bonus zippered compartment was a huge win. So this bag is just so cute. I honestly think this is going to be a great date night. You could dress this up. It can go with you anywhere. This one, I 100% recommend. I definitely think I've been on a spring kick lately because purple's not my usual go-to colors. But when I got my order in, I was like, wow, I was really feeling purple with this haul. Now this is a very large bag and honestly, I love the shape on here. So it's very unique. They don't have a lot of bags on the Timu website that have this shape. So I think that is just gorgeous. So you will have a strap here at the front that is just there for looks. It's not actually gonna do anything in terms of function. You will have a purple zipper up here at the top. What's great is when you do zip this up, it seals it completely shut. So I like how these two bars actually come closer with that zipper. Down below you do have feet on the bottom of this so it will stand upright as well, keep it off the floor for you. The handles are very soft, very comfortable. I do think they're gonna hold up really well and it looks so cute on when you're carrying this. I just like that the zippers are smooth with this one, but you get all of this amazing space inside. So you have two separate areas, a middle zipper, one zipper on the back, and two cell phone pockets up here at the front. Plus when you open up these handles, it opens all the way for you. So if you're really needing to look for something, this opens wide, which I think is great. And you also get another little wallet that matches this. And how cute is that design? I mean, it's a faux croc look, but that purple and white is just so cute, you guys. And this also comes in other colors. But if you want a good spring bag, this one I definitely recommend. Now let's talk about a little chocolate, shall we? I mean, this looks like a chocolate bar if there ever was one. Like honestly, if I showed you guys and said, hey, is this real or is it cake? I think you guys would think this is cake. So this is our next handbag here. This handbag is giving more of a regal sophistication vibe. So lots of design and texture with the fabric on this one. You do have these cute little suns that line this strap here. They actually go all the way over the top and onto the back as well, where again, you get this amazing print. So I love the design on here. It looks really expensive. So for the sides here, it is folded. So I love that, that you get a little bit of character there as well. On the front, you're gonna have a clasp that once again, you will need to just twist and it will open it up. The handle itself is a stronger handle. However, it doesn't go much higher than this. So really it's gonna be very short to hang on to. This is one where it's not as comfortable to wear on your wrist. There's just not a lot of room there. So I do feel like you either have to hold the handle or you are gonna to need to use the shoulder strap for this bag. But inside, again, there's quite a bit of space with the bag itself. So you have a pocket here in the front, and then additionally, you're gonna have two pockets here with a center zipper. This is the matching shoulder strap that will go with the bag. I do feel like this is made really well. I like that these are solid clips on here as well. They're very soft, it's a very slick material, so I feel like it's gonna be comfortable on. The wording on here says, have a nice day, love to fly, love to fly, love to fly. So this is what it will say here. I'm just happy that we don't have any translation mishaps this time around. Like this makes sense to me at least. And I do think it's cute that the bag is telling us, you know, have a nice day. So I don't think it's terrible. I, I will take it. So overall, this is what the bag itself will look like once you add that shoulder strap on there. I honestly think this one is really cute. I like that it's a really pretty design on here. So this one, I definitely recommend. See, you guys, I have a thing for the puffy purses. I really do. But you know what? I'm starting to learn a lesson that whenever there's angles involved, it's probably not gonna work out the best for me. So this is our next bag. It's a black handbag here, it's about a small size bag. But again, what is going on with these handles? These handles get crushed in shipping and then they just don't come out of it well at all. Now, I feel like maybe again, you could work with this and over time it could go back in place. But there's a couple other things I don't like about this handle. So if you notice, it's not made the best here. The stitching is a little all over the place. It's fraying a little bit already down here on the one end. I feel like this handle is going to rub off very easily and actually crack and break break over time. So 
So the handle's just not the best. I like the idea of where they were going with this. I like the angled design here, but it just kind of misses the mark overall. You can kind of even tell from the side. It's just, it's squished, it's flattened, and you really need to have that puffy look for this to be able to pull it off. But it just kind of concaves and I don't know, it doesn't work for me. Now inside you have two magnets here to open this up and down below you will have an open compartment. It does come with the matching shoulder strap but this shoulder strap is a totally different material than what this bag is made out of so it's almost like they just paired the two together but they're really not supposed to go together so this one is definitely a miss for me I like the idea of it but it just doesn't work out you can really tell that I have a thing for puffy bags right so this next bag is again going to be a miss for me I mean if you look at it here straight on you can already tell it's just misshapen and in a bag that's got these diagonal angles on here it really needs to be on point or you're gonna notice that it's not level and this one just misses that mark again I think this has potential it has an idea here that could work but it's not executed well so this bag is an off-white color and for starters the snap is off place so it really doesn't line up well with all of these lines it also has got some stitching issues on here so if you can notice already it's got some fraying all around the edges it's just not put together well on the bottom it is also not reinforced and it actually feels like a stronger cardboard that has bent here and I don't think you're going to be able to fix this one now the other thing that I have a problem with again is with this handle so if you guys notice here is that dreaded handle that I had last time do you see this this is that chain that we talked about before and this one is slightly better because they actually weaved in a piece of fabric into the chain but again, it feels like hardware chain. It's hard, it's scratchy, even with the fabric in there, it is not a soft chain at all. And especially when you have it on your shoulder, it just starts to cut into your skin over time. Now, I don't feel like this is the most secure bag either because we're just looping a strap around this top part and then that is supposed to keep everything safe. It is held together by this one clasp. So anybody could rip this directly off your shoulder and this one clasp is going to hold on for dear life, but I don't think it's going to make it far. So I'm just not a fan of how this is constructed. Again, I feel like it could have had potential. I like the idea of a dressy bag, but it's just not done well. Our next bag also did go through a little bit of a translation mishap. Now this next bag I had high hopes for because I thought it was going to look very classy, very business-like, and I was really excited to see this paired with like a pantsuit because I thought it had great potential. However, the first thing I noticed is the wording up here and I just can't get past it. Like now I can't stop seeing it. So it says fashion and bags is the name on here. I'm not sure if that is their business name or what but I think it's just strange to have fashion and bags listed on your handbag now this also has a tag here at the front but there's nothing on this it's supposed to give a little something but I don't really know what it's giving it's just there so I really don't think it's necessary the other thing that's a little odd about this bag is the way that it's painted and I, I'm not sure if that's the right technical term. I don't know if they paint these bags or, or how they get the color. But if you notice along this stitching, do you see how they've kind of went outside of the lines? And it's all over. On all of these lines here, you can see where it just doesn't look like it was cut well. So I'm not sure if this is fabric that they needed to cut and then stitch in there. But whatever the case, it does not give a clean line effect. And it's on the entire bag you'll notice it specifically along all of the trim edges so if you can get past those couple of things you might really enjoy this bag on the bottom you do have a couple of feet as well and the zipper on here is decent it's smooth it glides open very easily i do like that you have a fairly large compartment as well with a pocket and you do have a zipper back here it does come with the matching shoulder strap and i do feel like this shoulder strap does match with all of the same stitching so i like that so i do feel like it has great potential outside of 
like I said, this fabric or the paint here and the fact that it's just got this weird keychain and logo, I think it's great outside of those three things. So if those don't bother you, you might really enjoy this one. And today we are saving the best for last. Out of all of the bags that I got in my latest haul, this bag is my favorite and for a lot of reasons. For starters, it is so cute. I feel like it looks expensive as well, but it wasn't. So this would be a mid-size bag in my opinion, but I still feel like there's lots of functionality with this. On the front here, you're gonna have this gorgeous keychain. This is one of the few keychains, again, that gives something to the bag. It adds character. So the leaf down here is going to be all metal, and then it has the matching fabric behind it just to make it kind of stand out. It does have a couple of pearls, and it is a gold chain. This is just looped around the handle, so if you preferred to have this off, you could remove the charm if you wanted to. On the front for the logo here, I don't recognize this name, but it doesn't bother me. It looks just like a normal purse logo, but I love the gold trim here. It goes all the way up around the handles. These handles are designed to stand up and be strong like this. I love that this has the right shape. This is the way they're supposed to look. They're also incredibly soft. So the fabric that they have on here is just very squishy, very soft to hold on to. And I feel like the stitching is perfect. So I'm really glad those are solid. On the back, you will have a zippered compartment here. And look at this cute little zipper. I mean, how cute. And this is what I'm saying. There was just so many interesting details to look at with this bag. The zipper on here, I mean, look at it. It's just flawless. Like it is so smooth. This one has the smoothest zippers of all of the bags in this haul. And then inside it's all lined. I loved the color. It was like a copper color. On the top here, you will have the same zipper with the same chain here as well. And it's so smooth. I mean, you guys, you'll notice a difference. After I opened all of these zippers and then I got to this, I was like, whoa, this is like skating on ice. It is so easy to open. Inside of the bag, you're gonna have multiple compartments here. So on this side, you're gonna have one large pocket and then you will have a zippered compartment in the middle. On the other side, you're gonna have another space with another zipper. Now the lining in here, if you notice, it's all silk and it's got almost a copper or rustic color to it. So I do think it's a really pretty color combination. This bag actually comes with two shoulder straps, so you can choose what works best for you. So this first one here is going to be the matching color and it's gonna have the gold trim. These are really great clasps. They actually are stamped with the brand name as well. So this does go with the bag. It's not like an extra that was just added on. The other strap is going to be a wider strap. And again, it's going to have the same stamped initials on the clasps here. And this one I feel like is a little bit stronger just because it is a wider shoulder strap. Now this one is very cute. It has the brand name listed across it, but because it's just initials again, it doesn't bother me. I don't feel like this is a translation mishap at all. I feel like it's just a really good shoulder bag. You can use the strap if you'd like to, but again, I don't feel like it needs it either. You could just carry it. It's comfortable enough that you can put it onto your arm, your wrist, and it's got enough space as well. I also like that on the bottom here, this is very reinforced. So it's sturdy, you've got the feet, and just overall, everything about this bag I love. There's nothing about this that I'm going to complain about because it's great quality, it looks expensive, and it's everything that I would want in a bag, including this design on the front here. It's just absolutely perfect. So yes, this one I 1000% recommend. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys in your purse shopping spree. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I just showed you in this video, I will have links down below. And don't forget, I do have prices listed by each of those items as well. Additionally, Timu has partnered up to offer you guys a $100 coupon bundle if you download their app. So you will need to download the app and search my code in the search bar, and then all of the discounts will reveal themselves and you'll be able to take advantage of them. So until next time, beauties, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye!